Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? It's um It's Tuesday. It's day uh four, five, something like that, of of tapering off of my antidepressants and I must tell you that today is uh, dramatically different than the last few days. Today is tough. Uh, today has been very tough. Um, cognitively, I'm okay, which I expected. I, uh, antidepressants never made me feel dumb um, in, a, in an intellect sense. They made me feel dumb in an emotional sense and in a, in a creative sense. I was creatively dumb. Like, definitely definitely hampered uh, creatively but today I feel completely out of control with my emotions very tough day um, I got good work done today though so that's good I'm um, I got uh, we had a couple of good meetings at work today I got some good code written that I, I value. Um, I did take a little bit of a break at my desk to work on some stuff for Pepahana, which I'm glad to be back on that. I haven't worked on it in a week. Um, so I'm glad to be working on it again. Uh, wrote a new copy and stuff for it and kind of changed uh, a little bit of... Uh, I made it less uh, open-ended, <laughs> I think. If you haven't checked it out, please uh, visit the link in the description and and at least read the copy for me and if you have any marketing skills at all let me know what you think about the about page and the pricing page and the main page where i kind of describe what the software is i still feel like i'm not doing a good enough job of that but i also don't want to inundate a visitor with um too much information so for the last few days i've had this head congestion this is what i've been calling it this like just pressure but it's not really pressure in my head I would describe it um, if you've ever like gone on a serious sleep deprivation binge that kind of fuzzy feeling that's what it is but I'm not tired I'm not tired at all uh, in fact I, I didn't sleep very well last night apparently I woke up and there was pillows scattered across the room and the sheets were all twisted and in, in like half off the bed and so apparently I didn't sleep very well last night um, I know I woke up a bunch and I know I had some crazy dreams and that I've done a video on that before and that video is actually very popular on this page this web um, <laughs> this channel didn't I just say I'm not cognitively impaired um, that video actually is fairly um, fairly popular on the channel I don't know how many views it has now 30,000 or something like that but it gets comments quite often and uh, lots of people come to share their stories about the crazy dreams that they've had I've had some crazy dreams uh, last night for sure I know that I had some that involved people that I hadn't uh, I haven't seen since I was a kid stuff like that so um, man when when the synapses are like when everything is rebuilding itself up there it's really crazy and the emotional stuff today um, I think a lot of people aren't aware of with depression is that uh, antidepressants don't just get rid of the depression they also get rid of the highs it's more of like a flattening so if you have if you have your emotions and they go up and down and up and down it kind of squashes that and just takes the middle part so you lose a lot of the highs um, which is for me I would have uh, previously I would have categorized that as mania I would have categorized that as like bipolar mania where I just get really excited about stuff um, and maybe I'm wrong about that maybe it really was just happy and that's what happy is I'm not sure but um, today I've I like had quite a few moments of joy and then just random crying at my desk uh, always feels great but uh, I'm definitely not in control of my emotions today I have a friend coming over tonight to play some games he uh, he'll hang out hopefully for a few hours and uh, spend some time here uh, just distracting me I kind of just need the distraction um, but um, Hopefully he'll he'll stay for a while and we'll play some board games and I'll I'll take some pictures and tweet them but um, yeah I definitely don't want to be alone right now and uh, today was you know I, I was pretty worked up today at work to the point that I thought I'm gonna go to work tomorrow just so that I'm not sitting here alone uh, you know working from from my bed is great and all but um, I 
not in a space right now where I'm willing to be completely alone. I need, I need uh, another human around. So, uh, but I think, I think I've got that covered. I'm actually going to get some new furniture tomorrow, um, and stuff. That story, I might tell you that story tomorrow. Um, if you ask nicely, I'll tell you. If you ask nicely in the comments. I got a package today. This actually came to my house because I gave this person my address. And I know what's in here, um, but I'm going to open it on camera as if it was sent by a viewer. Um, I think she has watched a few episodes. I might be lying about that. Um, but you've seen her stuff before. Oh, that was amazing. Beth, that is genius. She she put a like a piece of paper here to protect from the seal strip. Huh. Genius. Um, this is a piece of artwork from my friend Beth, who uh, I have a bunch of pieces of hers hanging on my living room wall. Um, I got her to autograph this. I'll take a picture and post it here on the screen so you can see a better better picture. I really love her pointillism. This is kind of a hybrid of pointillism and uh, looks like single line art where you just don't lift the pen and do the, so the trees. Wow, that's really gorgeous. I didn't even notice the dragon until now. There's a little dragon in the corner. Um, Beth likes me, so she sends me the originals. <laughs> Everybody else gets prints. I get originals. This is amazing and I can't wait to frame it and hang it. I gotta find just the right place for it, but I think I know a good spot. So I got to find a good frame or make a good frame for this. Um, definitely going on the wall. And thank you for signing it this time, Beth. Um, that really means a lot to me. So um, yeah, another piece of Beth original in my house. I have another one upstairs that needs framed, so maybe I'll do another framing video soon. Maybe this time I'll make the frames. I think last time I did a framing video, I bought frames and then showed you how to, how to hinge tape them. So uh, maybe this time I'll make some frames. We'll see. That's what I have for now. I'm going to go get ready for people to show up and hang out. And, uh, yeah, I'm okay though. I think <laughs> I won't be alone tonight. That's important. Thank you for being here as always. And you know what? I'm not alone because I have you every day. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for making me a part of your life. Thank you for taking time out of your day to uh, reassure me that I'm not crazy. <laughs> it really means the world to me that you come back and I hope you'll keep coming back. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from AberdeenQuest.com. Why is Aberdeen called the Granite City? Aberdeen is well known as a granite city. Many of the buildings in Aberdeen are made out of granite. Granite is a hard rock that is often used as a building material. There was once a huge granite quarry in Aberdeen called Rubislaw Quarry. <laughs>